Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the options we have for adding free online base maps to our map in QGIS. So often when we start a new project, the first thing we want to do is have some kind of base map so that we can orient ourselves um, and view our other data sets. So there's a couple of useful plugins within QGIS that allow us to do this. So if we go up to our manage and install plugins. So if you were a QGIS 2 user, then there's a good chance that you'll be familiar with the Open Layers plugin, um, which is one of the most popular plugins that QGIS 2 had for adding base maps into our map. Um, however, if we just go into the Plugins Manager here and look for Open Layers, we'll see it's not coming up. Um, and the reason for that is it's currently still in experimental mode. So actually we can find the Open Layers plugin, um, but we have to go down to settings and enable experimental plugins. So if we come back now, um, we'll see that the Open Layers plugin is available. However, as I'll show you in a second, there's still quite a few issues with it at the moment. It very much is experimental within QGIS 3. Um, so we're also going to look at an alternative, which is the Quick Map Services plugin. So this is just another plugin that also allows us to add in a whole range of different base maps to our QGIS project. So I'm just going to install that um, now as well. OK, so both of these appear under our web menu within QGIS. So if we just take a quick look at the Open Layers plugin first. So some things are working pretty well. OpenStreetMap adds in, no problem. Loads pretty quickly as we zoom in and out. Um, but some of the other base maps that we have available are not quite so good. Now if we try to add in Google, first of all, we get this warning saying that printing and rotating of JavaScript API layers um, isn't available, which is fine. We just want to display it on our screen. But it's pretty slow, and we can see that they're currently linked into a development server, um, kind of getting this error message that we can't load Google Maps correctly. So, you know, it's definitely not in a usable state um, as things stand. Um, and some of the others also have kind of mixed effectiveness. Um, the Bing Maps layers do load. We don't get the, the warning messages, but they are running a bit slowly compared to some of the other options. And, you know, we have a, a reasonable range of maps here. But like I said, mixed results at the moment. Um, whereas Quick Map Services, on the other hand, has a huge array of maps to, to choose from. Now, one thing I have done, when you first install Quick Map Services um, for the first time, it won't have quite as many options as this. So if you want to expand the range of base maps that you have available, you will need to go into the Settings menu and click to get the contributed pack. So it should only take a few seconds when you click that, um, and that will make sure that you have the full range of maps that Quick Map Services can offer. Now, it still has some of the issues of the Open Layers plugin, um, but seems to be working better with most of the map services we have available. So the Google Base Map is running fine. Um, come back in, we've got Esri base maps here as well. So um, they all seem to be, be working okay. Um, obviously I'm not going to go through all of these at the moment, um, but not everything seems to be working. So if I try and load a Strava heat map for example, um, then they don't seem to be working correctly at the moment. And the same goes for some of the other services available. So you have to kind of experiment and, and see what what works for you. Um, but we do also have one other option for adding in uh, base maps within QGIS, and that's the XYZ tile layers um, that we can now add in. So by default, when you first install QGIS, it actually comes with OpenStreetMap 
set up as an XYZ tile layer. Um, and essentially what XYZ tile layers are, are a way to connect to services like Google Maps. And if we go into the edit menu here, you can see essentially what we're doing is linking to, to a URL where it replaces the, the Z, Y and X coordinates with the tile that we're looking for and uses that to load the map services. So you might not want to use OpenStreetMap. However, um, the Quick Map Services website, um, same people as the Quick Map Services plugin we're just looking at, have um, this useful page, um, which lists all of the tile map services um, that people have contributed to, to their website. And here we have literally hundreds 66 pages worth of different map services to choose from. Now again, not all of these are working, um, but they do have this useful traffic light system. So anything that's got a green dot next to it, if we go into this quick railway, um, sorry, open railway map, then we can see that that is currently working. It's loading up the map of the, the railway network. Um, interestingly, the Strava heat map, which wasn't working on the Quick Map Services plugin, um, does appear to be working using the, the version they have on their website. So if we want to use one of these, the main thing we need to do is copy this URL under the TMS info. Right click on the XYZ tiles, new connection. So give it a name, paste the URL, make sure you don't have any dangling spaces at the end, um, and then click OK. And we can now drag that onto our map, and we can see that we now have the, the Strava heat map layer loading up on this map. Um, so there you go, three options for adding in base map layers um, to our QGIS project. So probably the simplest of those at the moment is using the Quick Map Services plugin, currently a lot more effective than the Open Layers plugin. But also if there's layers that you know you're gonna be using regularly, um, then adding them using the XYZ tiles option can be an effective way of having those conveniently to hand um, when you want them. So one final thing that I do want to emphasize is that I'm not vouching for the license terms of any of the layers provided by these services. So if you want to use these, particularly if you want to use them for any kind of commercial purposes, then please do check the license conditions and make sure that you are allowed to use them for the purpose that you want to use them for. Okay, thanks a lot. If you found this useful, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel um, and check out my other videos.